Hey guys, before we start the raids today, let me introduce you to Honeygain, which is an app that you can install on your devices and earn passive income by employing your connected devices. The Honeygain app runs in the background and uses your connection to gather bits of information from the internet. It securely shares the internet with no access to your personal data, and then companies use this gathered information for various services. Obviously, you're not going to be making enough with the app running in the background to cover all of your living expenses, but you can earn enough in a month to treat yourself with a free game. Now, if you guys use my code linked in the description, you'll get your first $5 for free. And the more devices that you have running this app, the more money you're going to passively gain. More links are going to be posted in the description. Make sure to check it out if you guys are interested and I'll see you in the raids. Hey guys, we're starting today's video off with something pretty interesting here. There's like a fishing base here. Doors blasted off, but still armored walls, and TC wasn't taken because it isn't decaying. There were some coffins in here, empty. I think somebody raided it. But there is this armored portion over here in the corner with signs on it. Um, we can hear some boats flopping around over there in the water. Big old boot. I can't even read that. But anyways, armored half walls here and a full armored wall hard side. Guessing this is where TC could be. I mean, there's really no other spots. Just gonna check if it's stone on the outside, if we can get it for cheap. No, it looks like it's all honeycombed off. So we'll pop that armored wall out, see what we can find. Workbench three, TC loot and a sleeper. Let's go. That mean that was obvious. There's no other spots it could have been. Metal in the furnace. Um, some mats in this box. And actually, 30k sulfur up here. 22 explosives, 2k GP, and a bunch of bean cans. Looks like he was going for satchels. But that pays for the raid right there, guys. Who'd have thought a freaking boat base? And we've scored some sulfur. Still got TC. Just HQM. And I expect this to be components here in the back. Oh, 5C4 and 16 rockets. What the heck, dude? Alright, we take those. A row of explosive ammo. Don't need to seal this one up. We basically took everything in here. Um, 10 more satchels. Guess we'll leave the bean cans, but wow. Nice raid, totally paid off. Smaller base design, but doesn't mean they can't be rich. All right, so we've got yet another smaller base build, all armored. This one looked like a solo player. He has a key lock on the front door. But hey, we don't need to raid the massive bases if these small ones are gonna pay off with profit. So it's about a three by two, air locked up. We're gonna go for that front door. You know what, look at that foundation, it's stone. Maybe that's misplaced. We could probably crouch under this and get in there for 2C4. Here we go. Armored double door garage door is left open. Oh, would have been the same price just going in the front door as well. 13 tech trash here. And... These boxes are empty. All right, well, we've got one more door. Hoping we find something. There we go, TC. And one, two coffins in there. For the coffins, a C4 and six rockets. Didn't pay off yet. We used four C4 in that base. Um. What else I got? Just really not much in here. All right, so that one, I guess with the explosive ammo, we probably exactly broke even. 
So maybe we do need to find a bigger base to hit after this and see if we can score a jackpot. All right, so we've got definitely a bigger size base, all stone built into a rock over there. Definitely not a huge clan though, but I still wanna go ahead and try to hit this thing. Don't really understand this base layout because we can blow straight into the back middle of this thing, I'm pretty sure. First story is gonna be stone. And after that, if it's armored, we still have enough to do it to get into the center. Okay, so it is sheet metal, but still stone here. Is there workbench three? Yet another garage door left open. Let's see, just a silencer. Furnaces are empty. Is a bit of sulfur in there. Okay, so 17k sulfur ore left in the furnaces. Um, I don't know why this dude needs so many freaking heaters. Kind of funny. Sheet metal door there. Let's take these garage doors out, plus this sheet door. Eight boxes there. Gloves. Mushrooms, really not much in here. Don't expect much more. One seed. Okay, well, he's got 19k sulfur. I guess he's been farming. And here's the actual sleeper. Flame traps. More components. Not much on the tech trash side of things. Um, there was one more door and we haven't found TC yet. This looks like it came from the front. I don't know why this one's soft. There's no door path over there, just a rock. Okay, that is going to be TC. Looks like most of the sulfur was being kept outside of the TC though. Um, I'm happy with that. Obviously gonna be profit, but definitely not a jackpot. There's a huge raid going on next to me. Rockets have been going off. I guess that could be somebody trying to take the Bradley out. I know I said I was looking for one of the bigger bases on the server, but check this out. I can't give this raid up. He's built another base out of one by ones, separated really far apart. If you look closely, there's like Probably 20 one by ones right here in sight, and then much more right over this cliffside. Look at that, this thing keeps going on. I want to say there's about 30 one by ones in total. Now it's going to be difficult to do all this without getting countered because there's really no place to take cover. So we're just going to start popping these things off one by one. We'll do it quickly. Hopefully, we can find some loot. What do we got? We see a TC. Just metal in there. Coffin in this one. Locked. There we go, boys. Explosive ammo. AKs, MGL. Keep on going. Another coffin in this one. Okay, 16 rockets. What the heck is he just spreading the loot around through all these? Really scared of a counter flying in now though. Oh my god, okay, 7C4, dude. This is literally paying off one by one. 
Maybe we go take some of these explosives home. Definitely the rockets. All right, we're back, boys. Coming from the other side, let's see if any of these will pay off. Okay, just metal in those two. Let's go more towards the center. Well, we're down to three C4, we can do one more. I wanna say we got a majority of the loot, but there's just so many one by ones, there could be a lot more stuff spread out. Let's go for one last one here in the center. Okay, just the TC in that last one. I mean, we took home about 20 rockets and a bunch of explosive ammo. Definitely not gonna be profit just because of how many C4 these take. This is a really smart base build. If you can get your loot spread out enough, I guess. Surprise, we didn't get countered there, but we'll head home with that. And that's probably gonna be the final raid of the video. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Maybe we can find something interesting, a bigger clan base. But as of right now, man, these smaller bases have been paying off.